Oh, hey, didn't see you there. We're here at Stratford Farms Ecological Center where we will be doing a thorough documentary on the life of bees. Bees. Each colony is a different uh, queen and the bees cannot go in each other's hive or they'll kill each other. So as a beekeeper, we use gloves, um, we use the smoker, and then we also have uh, beekeeping suits and then the veils. Now, some beekeepers go without their suits on. Um, they just go as I'm dressed, but you always have to wear a veil because over the years, bees have realized that bears like honey. And if you sting a bear in its fur, it's not gonna do anything. So their mouth um, is what bees are attracted to, actually what they breathe out. So they're att attracted to our breath. So you always have to have a veil on or the bees will go right in your face. How do, how do the bees see your breath? Or how do they, they know? It's all a scent. Okay. So they're attracted to it, um, as well as your eyes. When you go out there, you don't want to wear dark, fuzzy clothing. Again, you look like a bear. So white is the best thing to use. Um, we use the gloves really just for comfort. You don't have to use gloves. A lot of beekeepers don't. You must have a hive tool um, because the bees glue the hive together. And so you have to pry everything apart when you get in there, and it's very sticky. So the hive tool and then the bee brush, which gets the bees off where you need to look. Um, the smoker is important. Um, what it does is it disrupts their scent. Um, they communicate by scent. So if a bee stings you, it puts out a pheromone that says, come sting here. And so the other bees come and they'll want to sting in that same location. So you would smoke a sting. Also, when you open up the hive, you smoke all around it. Um, which just disrupts their communication. So, so the smoker has nothing to do with with seeing. It's just it's just the exactly. scent. Exactly. Okay. It's, yeah, it just disrupts their being able to communicate with each other. Okay. Some people say that it has a sedative effect. Like if you're at Thanksgiving dinner and you eat a lot of food, um, you just want to lay around. So, smoke makes them think the hive is on fire. They want to eat a lot of food. Um, so they eat a lot of honey and then they're sedated. So that's another theory as well. How is that bees uh, is the honey made? Well, uh, the bees gather the nectar. Um, it's made out of the nectar of the flowers. They carry it inside their stomach. It changes through enzymes and then they regurgitate it out. Okay. Um, then the honey is very wet, so they have to stay in the hive and just flap their wings and they um, evaporate some of the water out of it. When it's to the proper moisture content, then they seal it over with wax. So as a beekeeper, we may see lots of honey, but if it's not sealed, um, we can't use it. It'll actually ferment. Okay. And are there a lot of different types of honey, or is it just honey? There are, and it's all depending on the season. So in the early spring, locust honey is in bloom, because the locust trees are in bloom. Um, clover comes when the clover's in bloom. So beekeepers who specialize on different kinds of honey oftentimes travel around, so they'll move their hives from one location to another and follow that particular plant in bloom. So starting in Florida, coming all the way up to Ohio. Okay. That's how a lot of the commercial honey is made. Okay. How many bees would you say that you guys have here? Um, you know, I'm not sure how many are in a hive. Um, the bee inspector was here yesterday, and I have one hive, and he was saying in a couple weeks she's going to be up to 80,000 bees. Wow. So. What does the bee inspector do? He comes to regulate every once um, in a while? Or? If you want him to, he came to just check in on my hives to look and see if I have any mites, which I do. So. Now, um, because I have mites, I have to put some rolled paper towels in there that are soaked in canola oil, and then that will hopefully help with the mites. Okay. So how, how long does the process take for, for honey to be made, typically? It depends on how good the bees are. Um, you'll have some colonies that are not very good. They're kind of lazy bees, and that's all dependent on the queen. If you have a lazy queen, you're going to have lazy bees. If you have a good queen, you'll have good bees. Um, it's also weather dependent. If they can get in and out several times in a day, or if it's cloudy, if it's drizzling, so it's all dependent, all varied. The beehives, where bees do their magic and make honey. Devin here is going to demonstrate how to play with bees. <laughs> I'm here at the beehives, and we are not trained in any fashion. To no, business, not at all. Nor are we supervised whatsoever. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. This is where the bees live and make their honey. As you can see here, there's a lot of action going on. Here we are. Getting really, really close to bees. They're pretty much surrounding us. At last estimate, Stratford, Far Stratford Farms had about 80,000 bees. Recently, there was a bee master who came to check on the bees. 
He stated that there were mites, but they're still good to make honey. Oh! Oh! <coughs> this is called angering the bees. It appears that the bees are getting a little frustrated with our presence here. Um, they are kind of all around us. It's alright because I'm wearing protective clothing. Slater, however, is not. <laughs> Here, De here, Devin will demonstrate how to open a drawer for the Wavy box. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't think so. I'll do it. Dude, they're gonna fuck us out. Recently, one third of the bee population has disappeared. Scientists do not know why, nor do the bee experts at Stratford Farms. Some guess that's because of disease. Some guess that it's because of pesticides. We don't know. Scientists are still debating. Here at Stratford Farms, they haven't been affected by this, by this worldwide epidemic yet. This is a bee. Oh. 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 We seem to anger the bees. Probably can't see in the camera, but there's millions of bees swarming all around us. Dickens. It gives me the dickens reminiscent of Charles. A little disco tech nestled in the